The Steam Deck is going to eat Sony's lunch, just like the Xbox One is eating Sony's lunch, just like the Switch is eating Sony's lunch. Everybody's eating Sony's lunch. They're not going to have anything left. Uh, this is a pretty interesting situation. You know, we've been talking about kind of the decline of the PlayStation brand in Japan, and this is another indicator that, yeah, uh, it might be game over for PlayStation uh, pretty soon. This might be the last generation where the uh, the PlayStation even means anything. In Japan, I have to give a hat tip to Black Sage D for sending this over. Thank you for that, and thank you for the support. Check out clownfishtv.com for more objective gaming news. We're trying to ramp this site up. And uh, speaking of PlayStation, and speaking of uh, you know all the drama around what's going on with Sony in Japan, the PlayStation is in decline. This is uh, irrefutable. We had some people jump into the comments on this article a couple of weeks ago, but the PlayStation is in decline, and it's not just because people can't find a PS5. Sony has made it very clear they are not interested in Japanese gamers. They shut down their, their Japanese uh, gaming studio. Uh, it seems like more and more of their games are Western AAA titles. They're going crazy with censorship and Japanese gamers have absolutely had it. And now they're going out to, um, well, pretty much anything that's not PlayStation, right? They're going out to the uh, the Steam Deck, the portable Valve console. I guess the best way to think of it is is kind of like their version of the Switch. Now we actually had the, the Steam Link and I thought it was crap. I'm gonna be honest, we, we had one uh, probably four or five years ago and it just, it wasn't that great, but um, you know, the, the Steam Deck sounds like it's actually pretty solid. Anyway, uh, some of these tweets, we're gonna go out to the story from this Japanese website, uh, Automaton, uh, you know, again, seemingly confirming what, you know, we've been hearing, which is the, the PlayStation is damaged goods in, in Japan. Val said Japan may even be the fastest growing market in the world. This may be related to the terrible stock shortage of PS5 in Japan, but Japanese games are still attractive to some degree. I don't think Sony's strategy to neglect Japan is a good thing. Now, going back to what has been going on, and again, you know, I'll put a link to this article, uh, we put it on clownfishtv.com, that the PS5 is not selling that well. Now, granted, it's hard to find a PS5, but even when they're available, Japanese gamers have been complaining about how Sony has been dropping the ball, that they're you know, obviously not interested in Japanese gamers anymore. They're making it uh, very clear that they're not. And the Xbox uh, Series X and S have been selling very, very well in Japan, which is so weird because it used to be that you know, the uh, Xbox was kind of an outlier. It was definitely a Western system, but it's doing incredibly, incredibly well in Japan. Um, you know, again, it's, it's an alternative to the PS5 and it just seems like more and more people are, are picking, uh, picking up Xboxes and they're, and they're also gravitating to PC games. I mean, honestly, if you are a hardcore gamer, um, you know, PC is the way to go in my opinion. And the steam deck seems like it's going to make, you know, higher end PC titles available to more people. Uh, and it's going to be a little more budget friendly than, than you know, buying a $2,000 rig. Now, I don't know what the performance is going to be like. I mean, that's one thing I've been kind of concerned about. I'm like, they show up playing Elden Ring. You know, we'll see. Can it can it run Cyberpunk 2077? <laughs> you know, that's that's going to be the uh, the key. But um, yeah, people said it's actually pretty good. Uh, here's Elden Ring on the Steam Deck. Again, this is coming from uh, Automaton, Japanese site. And if you're watching this video, you're probably on the internet. And mostly the internet is a pretty great place. You can find videos of cats and videos of dogs and more videos of cats and dogs and babies and stuff. But you can also find bad guys. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but the internet isn't 100% safe. Some people out there might try to trick you into giving out your password or, you know, just take your passwords from some dubious hotspot and don't get me started on the malware. Yeah, nobody wants to inadvertently infect their device after some late night web surfing. Am I right? Where's the fun in that? And you want the internet to be fun. And as we all know, you can have good, clean fun so long as you're using protection. NordVPN is a virtual private network that protects and encrypts your sensitive data your sensitive data so you can focus on the fun and stop worrying about the bad guys. We know there are a lot of VPNs out there, so why choose Nord? 
It's easy to use, connect with one click, or enable auto connect for zero click protection. Look, you don't even have to think about it. 5,500 plus servers in 59 countries. You can find a server near you for better speed or in a faraway location for more content. It has amazing speed. It's confirmed by the speed test. NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. You can connect six devices on every major platform, Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Linux. Yeah, Linux, even your Android TV supports NordVPN. So if you wanna watch a show maybe that's not available in your home country, yeah, just saying, just saying. You want to get protected so you can have more fun on the internet. Check out this offer at nordvpn.com slash clownfish. You get four months for free on a two-year plan. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash clownfish. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash clownfish. Now let's get back to the fun. Okay, so this is going to be in English because this is translated uh, via Google. The reservation status in Japan is good. Finally, the release of the Steam Deck in Japan is approaching. By the way, if I pre-order now, will it be shipped? We're planning to ship those uh, to those who have reserved um, them by the end of the year. How is the reservation situation in Japan? I can't tell you the specific numbers. So far, it's going well, better than originally expected. Now, this is interesting because in Japan, PC games have never been as popular as console games, uh, really. Um, in Japan, PC games are not so popular and home consoles are the mainstream. What was the decision behind the launch of the Steam Deck in Japan? Uh, they said there's no doubt the home video game consoles are dominant in Japan, but the scale of the PC game market is probably larger than you think in terms of market size. It's in the top 10 in the world. In terms of growth speed, it might even be the fastest in the world. The Japanese PC gaming scene is growing rapidly. This is the first reason. The second reason is that Japan is the hometown of portable game consoles. Portable gaming is a concept that was born in Japan. The origin of portable gaming for Steam Japan is a hot market right now. In addition to games made by Japan, games by Japanese developers and publishers are popular worldwide in the first place. Japan provides quality gaming experiences all over the world. There's a structure in which Japanese games are released on Steam. People over the world would pick them up and PC gaming grows globally. It's only natural, it's only natural for us to place importance on the region of Japan, unlike Sony. Sony actually doesn't seem to care about Japan anymore, and the, the gamers are feeling it. So here are some of the comments um, on this. Uh, VTubers might be a factor since a lot of them are PC gamers. Maybe. Um, maybe. Um, I have noticed the PC gaming. That PC gaming has become more and more popular in Japan. I remember during the Tokyo Game Show, they had a tutorial in Japanese about how to build a PC. That's, that's interesting because, you know... Um, it does seem that more and more Japanese gamers are going to migrate to PC. Um, here we have Midnight Man on top of the fact that Sony and its infinite wisdom killed their dev studios in Japan. Can't feel sorry for Sony at all. Black Sage D. Sony's hubris will be their undoing. I agree. I agree with that. I think they thought they couldn't fail. But again, they don't want the audience. And we've, we've seen this before with other companies. When they tell a portion of their audience that they're unwanted, that they don't want them anymore, and they chase a different audience, somebody else is going to come along and, and pick up the pieces. We're seeing it in comics. You know, you tell, you tell people you don't want them. You don't want them to buy your comics. Guess what? Somebody else wants to sell comic books to them because they still want to read comics. They have money in hand. You know, somebody's going to fill that, that void in the marketplace. And um, yeah, between this and the Switch... And the Xbox, you know, I think it's Sony's toast, man. I just don't understand why, um, you know, Japanese gamers, if they're not getting the kind of games they want and they're they're having to deal with the censorship and all the uh, stupidity over there, why they would even waste their time trying to track down the PS5. There are so many other options. Uh, if the PC sweeps over Japan and Japanese developers begin paying attention to it, Japanese developers will have to worry a lot less about censorship. That's true. Um, happy to see this. The growth of PC gaming in Japan means less intrusion of censorship when they come to the West. Um, this will bring back this will bring back the NEC PC 98 days when Japan still used the PC for work and play. Yeah, they did. Um, they did. It was uh, you know the MSX and and some other. Uh, gaming consoles slash PCs uh, were kind of big back in the day, but then then it kind of 
I don't know exactly what happened. It's a cultural thing, you know. Um, Japanese gamers went one way, and, and Western gamers went another way. And uh, again, I think it's harder to build a PC and, you know, have to keep up with all that. And a lot of the games that were being developed for PCs, I, I just don't think they really appealed to Japanese gamers. That might have been the case. You know, it is easier to just go buy a console, you know, and plug it in and plug the cartridges in, plug the discs in. Um, and again, the, the kinds of games that were available for PC were very Western, you know. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Um, uh, you know, I think Sony's got its work cut out for them. I don't think they really care about video games as much as as they did, uh, you know, at least not in Japan, because it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a huge problem. And they're really in Japan. They're going to have to fight to get that, that audience back. Uh, definitely. A lot of competition. Going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. If you want to get protected so you can have more fun on the internet, check out this offer at nordvpn.com slash clownfish. You get four months for free on a two-year plan. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash clownfish. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash clownfish.